uh, to cope uh, with the wind from France is coming down this way. But it's really pretty amazing that, that this situation didn't work out uh, any worse than it did because this guy wasn't able to get control of this ship right through here. It had nowhere to go. The most ferocious winds are happening now. An estimated 100 mile an hour plus sustained winds are moving into this area now. It is the nightmare that these folks have been worried about. Let's go. This is amazing. I had this, this is the um, worst so far. I can't turn my head right now. I don't know how Scott is doing it. It feels like rocks pelting your body. That's what it feels like right now. Here's what we've you know found in the street, and this is why you're not supposed to come out. Uh, we're not sure what this piece of metal is, but it's definitely dangerous. And this is another reason why they ask you, do not come outside of your house. This is why you evacuate. The conditions, I would say, are not good right now. As we've been saying, the sustained winds right now are 90 per miles per hour. And if you remember, I wondered if a 170 pound man could withstand 90 mile per hour winds. The answer is yes, but barely. This is powerful. And let me tell you, this rain feels like somebody nailing you with pins, needles, and rice all at the same time. As you can hear and see, this wind is ferocious. Um, I'm going to have um, photojournalist Jeff Sweeney panel with just a bit so that you can see where many of us slept right here. It's one of our windows and the wind was just rushing up against here, howling, and that's what you had to fall asleep to. Very nerve-wracking, but of course for us, everything was safe here, but there are a lot of people waking up in shelters who don't know what they're gonna go home to. They don't know what's gonna be left behind. Yesterday, one of the chains apparently broke on his two anchors, causing that boat to drift down, and you're, you're exactly right.